towards the end of this at this point of time. Um, let's see, it takes a little while to load. Yeah, the auto unmute. Okay, with that. Um, yeah, the auto unmute part is very very uh, funky. Okay. This has been happening. Yeah. With that, we come to the end of our first round of this trivia round, and so we move on from more of the competitive, bring your team together to stay in sync with your team and try to see whether you can get a clue right to your team. And for this, we have split you folks into two teams, and the teams have already been like split. And Samim is first up for Team A, which is Rafal, Kevin, and Samim are in Team A, and uh, Jay, Uday, and uh, Vincent are in Team B. Samim, you're going to see a list, a clue that shows up right underneath your name, um, and your job is to try and convey can you, what is. Can you? You should probably not make me a moderator because I might see everything, right? Uh, oh yeah, let me yeah. kick you out of the moderator. It's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good call. Thanks for being very honest about this, Jay. Otherwise, it will be very dramatic when Jay gives away the answers, even before we start the questions. Um, yeah, sorry, sorry. I'm just like, yeah. Oh, good. So team A. So yeah. So team A. Everybody in team A can unmute your microphone because you need to be like quickly giving away answers. So that's Kevin and Ruffle. Unmute your microphones first. Person has been picked at random, and it's uh, Samim, <laughs> and he will see a word or phrase appear under you. You have to get your team to guess that word by giving a clue. Obviously, you cannot use that word in your clue. You will have one minute, and I will reset the timer up on the top. You can see that there is a timer. Uh, once that, uh, once your time starts, you have one minute, and there are up to nine points that you can get for your team. And let's see where you can go. Are you ready? Uh, any questions before we begin? Can I give multiple clues, or I'm giving one clue? You can give any anything you want. You can keep talking as long as okay. you want, as long as you don't say the word in the clues. So you can just keep talking. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm resetting the timer, and your time starts now. So the word should be there already. No. Yeah. Are you not seeing the word? I see something. Yeah. Okay. So it's like. Um... In a game, the score that you start with. No, no, no. Um, hold on a second. Oh, I think I messed up there. Um, yeah. I think I messed up there. Sorry. Yeah. Ah, that's a good call. <laughs> Zero points. Uh, so you should, yeah. you should, you should okay. see that now right I now. now. And I, 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 I reset, reset the timer. Like, now go on. Okay, okay. Yeah, now I see it work. Okay. Um, You have one minute for nine clues. Yeah. Uh, mm, so it's like the group of people who like protect the country. Soldiers. Army. Correct. Army is right. Oh, go I, on, I do, go on. going. Okay. Um. So, after you got your first two doses, what did you get? Booster. Or the dose. <laughs> Booster is good. Um. Rides are made of. Say that again. I don't what? think they heard you. Fries are made of. I didn't hear that. So come again. Fries are made of. Like French fries. What are they made out of? Potato. Oh, yes. Yeah. Correct. And you <laughs> just ran out of time. That was a uh, three questions for thirty points, and uh, you are. <laughs> Okay, next we're gonna bring Team B up on stage. Looks like Team B is ready to go, and Kevin, I'm oh, sorry, Vincent has been like decided uh -oh. to be the participant for this one. Are you ready, Vincent? You will yeah. at, in a second see. I will set that up correctly. All right, if you're ready, your time begins now. Um, you run on this to exercise. Treadmill. <clears throat> the winner of a tournament. Champion. Uh, first player. Uh, uh, gold medal. Yeah, yeah, no, right. champion um, is right. Champion is right. French. <laughs> French. Fries. Yeah. Correct. French fries. Um, 
a verbal affirmation to someone for doing a good job. Uh, kudos. Great. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, um, kudos. Uh, cheers. Um, it's, it's, uh, you can skip well if done. you want to. Good job. Okay, let's get to it. Um, um, <laughs> some rare occurrence that happens in the world. Uh, once a blue moon. Blue moon. Blue moon. Uh, one word, one word. Uh, Eclipse. It could it could be a like a nature thing, like in general, not nothing specific. Oh, uh, uh, solstice. And we are time. All right, that word was phenomenon, and the previous word that you didn't get was encouragement. <laughs> okay, I mean it progressively gets tougher after the third clue, and so thirty points again uh, for you folks. All right, we are going to bring the next person up on stage. Rafal, it's the same thing, but it got a little bit harder. They're going to oh say God. a word, a rather simpler word, but there are going to be taboo words that you cannot use in describing this. Uh, if you play taboo, this is literally that. Uh, so give a clue, and you have um, one minute to go again. I will reset your timer. and oh, Wait, let me actually bring you up on stage over here. This is what I should have pre-configured. So stressful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you ready, um, Rafal? Yes, I'm ready. You go. You can skip if you don't think there's. The first word is the one that you're trying to give a clue for. Okay, so you go to this or sign up into this when you want to train a skill, technical skill, for example. And okay. it's last bootcamp, yeah. Bootcamp is right. Okay. Oh, that's, that's cool. Mm. So uh, it's a procedure surgery you write it you write it uh, in your app it's a procedure Script. to calculate something formula not yet not not there yet or loop not there yet <laughs> class and it's time that is the <laughs> Algorithm. I realized that these are the same tools that I used for Kevin when he was on the new hire. So I'm surprised that he didn't get that one. But again, like it's very hard to reverse engineer that. Um, Five tab words. That was really hard to do this program. Okay, ten points for Team A there, and we move on to Team Good B. Job. Great job, Rafael. Uh, Jay, you're up. You should see a yellow bar below you. And if you're ready, let's go. Uh, oh. <coughs> what you could do on zinc uh, to convey <coughs> some information. Chat. Uh, okay, how about uh, there's a popular product from Google that can be used mm -hmm. for information. Uh, to a lot Google of people. Uh, Google Meet. Oh, uh, Google you're, standing, you're standing on a stage and you want to make a speech with 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 a lot of information. Like <laughs> skip. presentation. Slides. All right, let's get let's skip. Uh, while uh, while buying a home. You can do this to get a better deal. Negotiate. Uh, yep. Correct. Negotiate is the right one. If you do a, a, an awesome job, you get a <laughs> oh, raise. Bonus. Raise bonus. Bo yeah, bonus. Bonus is correct. Uh, <laughs> after, after after years of hard work, of oh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, next. You, oh, uh, wait, you were way over time. I didn't even pay attention yeah. to time. I think I, uh, the last two questions were, were over time. Yeah. 
let's 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 take the uh, twenty points and call that done. All right, folks. That's that presentation. The first one is presentation. Oh, pres- <laughs> oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, this is great. Well done, Jay. This was an awesome team A. Team A seems like it actually did really well. And so we move on to mm-hmm. sort of the end of this team in sync. And the next one is know your team, which is also in the would you rather style. I am going to, again, bring one person up on stage and we're going to ask a question such as this one. What, and the, that's what, hold on, like, nobody click on anything. Kevin, you are supposed to answer this question, so you should definitely not click. But others can click this, click, vote on what you think this person would answer. Would this person rather skip breakfast or skip lunch? And if your team is it knows you as well as, you know yourself, then you win as a team. So uh, folks, the rest of you can vote, but Kevin, give them like 10 seconds to fill their vote and then we can see the answers. I have seen five of the seven people. Okay, we clearly have what is ahead. Kevin, now go on and tell us what you think your answer is. So just say what your yeah, just say and say why as well, like so that we get to know a little bit more about you. Sure, I would say um, I would rather skip breakfast. Woo! Sixty-seven percent of the voters thought so too. So that clearly means that the team won, and they know you really well enough to know that you're a breakfast skipper. But why? Why would you skip breakfast? Uh, I think when I drink coffee, I usually get like really like I don't feel to eat breakfast. So yeah, that's kind of like why. It kind of makes ah, me feel. Okay. You're the kind of person who thinks that coffee is not part of breakfast. I understand that. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go on to the next person over here. Uday, you're up on stage. Again, same rules. Don't click. But before, give everybody an answer to say, what would this person rather, would, would this person rather go on a historical town for vacation or a beach vacation? Let's see if everybody's cast their votes. We have one more vote that's coming up. Uh, I don't see. Okay, we are again relatively evenly split. But Uday, what is your answer? Uh, my answer is I would rather go to a historical town. So wow, I'm, I'm a, yeah, yeah, I'm a As big a team, time. Uh, we kind of. <laughs> sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish your thought. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm big time into uh, military histories. So I read a lot about. Uh, why this matters happened, etc. I have a list of places that I have to visit across the globe. So we need a historical town. That is great that you think about it like that. And I, it's great to know that, know that about you. But we as a team thought that you are, would rather go to a beach and 67% of the people <laughs> thought so. Clearly wow. we didn't know. And we knew that about you now. We know that about you now. Bringing up the next person up on stage. I'll be doing Samim again. So yeah, mm-hmm. Samim. Would this person rather punch someone in the face or steal from someone? Some of these are repeats, but hold on. Like, let's, let's don't give your answer yet, but let's see what we think of him. Let's finish the uh, quote here. This is the best question. <laughs> uh, you're muted, uh, Samim. Uh, we need, okay, we have answers. <laughs> There's a relative consensus hard. here among us, but uh, what do you think is the answer? I think I would rather steal. Oh, what a complete um, miss over here. We thought that you would punch someone in the face oh, rather yeah? than steal. In fact, like overwhelmingly so, because uh, 83% of us thought <laughs> that you would rather punch someone in the face. Uh, mm. <laughs> so we need to be careful with our belongings. Thanks for your remote team. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more, Samim. Why do you think you would rather steal from someone oh. than punch them in their face? Um, I think you'll definitely get caught if you punch someone. You're literally punching them. You can be close to them. And it's messy. You could hurt your wrist. I don't know if you've ever punched anything. It can be very <laughs> painful for you, too. Um, but stealing is just a lot cleaner, and it could be a lot more discreet. So, I like it. I like it. You are like the person who is more thinking about the consequences before the 
crime is perpetrated. That's great mm. to know. And the last of this <laughs> line of questions is to Jay. Again, is this person more likely to yell at someone or be yelled at by someone? And so easy. Wait, wait a minute, Jay. So <laughs> Ruffel says so easy. <laughs> hmm, there is an obvious one over here. <laughs> Looks like we have a pretty reasonable consensus. I, I appreciate the fact that like no question literally guaranteed a hundred percent on anything. So J Jay, what do you I think? Would say, uh, yeah, I would say, yeah, I think I'd be yelled at. <laughs> How well we know you or not, we did not get that right. Almost overwhelmingly, we thought that you would rather be the person who will yell at someone. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I, I can change my mind. No problem. I, I can <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Please, please don't yell at me for that. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say you can start right now. <laughs> I was saying right. you can start right now. <laughs> all right. So that is the end of Know Your Team. This was more revealing than I thought. Like, did we really, when people overwhelmingly thought one thing about you, you were completely another thing. And that's, uh, that's good to see. The next one is a rather fun improv style one. I have a question. Go on. I, I think I was missed uh, in uh, the game before. Uh, was that intentional or uh, do we have a bug? Yeah. So the, so the idea was that like you either come up on stage for the first round for the taboo or for this. Some people were repeated because this was built for eight people and like you're six. And so we had like repeats, but otherwise nobody will come on stage twice. It's all, everybody gets only one turn up on stage. You're either on the Taboo, get a clue game, or on the know your team game. Okay, so it's intended. Yeah. It's intentional. Yep, I did not. I did not skip. Uh, so this game is where we are going to present as a team. This you've never done this before, where we are doing an improv style presentation. For those who don't know improv, it's where we come up on stage, and we talk. We make mistakes, and that's all fine. It's mostly for fun, for humor. We are trying to uh, be spontaneous, be in the moment, listen to what others are saying, and then like act according to that. And that's what we're doing over here. Um, we have a presentation deck and an audience that we're going to present this to. We as a group are going to make this presentation, and I'll briefly show you what this is going to be. And like, there is going to be like multiple slides, and one or two presenters will be in each slide. If you are presenting your slide, your face will be on the, the, uh, on the uh, slide and you will have to just improvise and say what it is about it. And uh, you will also have a timer. So I will automatically progress the scene once that time is up and s make sure that if you have two presenters that you divide the time among you people. And uh, again, keep it fun. Needless to say, you have no context, so it's okay. You're not trying to be right over here. Having fun is the goal. Bring your passion, enthusiasm, humor, dra dramatics, everything is good. Listen to cues of what is being said and try to incorporate that into your presentation. Um, again, as I said, I'll control the slide and we'll kick off. But I'll just give you like a brief overview of it one time before we go on to this. This is going to start off with this. We are pitching a company to a set of investors. And this is the first slide. This is the second slide where Samim and Vincent are going to be up on stage talking to this slide. Kind of try to make up in your mind what you're gonna say here. And the solution side is gonna be Jay and Rafal, followed by the business model slide where Kevin and Uday are going to say what the business model of this is. Just get like a good idea. And Samim is back for a quick 45 second competition slide. And Jay is going to wrap it up with like the team and the fundraising slide. So that's going to be the flow folks. And uh, if you're all ready, we can get started on this. Uh, any questions before we get started on this? Can I have screenshot of my slide? <laughs> or... <laughs> no, 
in fact like i didn't even plan to actually show these slides i figured like you should just improvise as it comes but it's too short a time for you to like read everything and then talk through it so i guess gave you like a sneak peek of it again it's just for fun feel free to uh do this mistakes are fine we celebrate mistakes and improv all right folks i'm going to get started on this the first one all right welcome investors and fellow shark tank sharks uh we are a team and we are called shadow facts and we are with the big vision of disrupting the world of last mile mobility move away uber and lift and all these like tiny electric scooters the world is ready for bringing horses back to your neighborhood or should i say neighborhood all right folks we are going in tune for the next set when you clap your hands a horse comes jump on it and get into work the team is ready to present this to you over to you team um thanks arjun so as everyone knows um traffic is a big problem climate change is going to kill us all and fuel prices suck but even more so when people ask for last mile delivery they want something that can go upstairs can go in alleyways can jump in their car last mile is much harder than um the car can get to and and really it's not something that we can solve for unless you want to start putting motorcycles um there which maybe also has the same problems as i previously stated Vincent <laughs> what do you think um i think not only do you get a Uh, some form of transportation you also get a companion uh, <laughs> so you can talk to your horse while you go to your destination and you won't be bored it's like uh yeah it's like you have a best friend you don't need a dog anymore just get a horse and you can go wherever you want with it um this is a well thought out problem that uh, samim and vincent have is uh, talked to us and here for like the solution part of it we have jay and rafal all right so as you might have guessed from the intro like the, the solution to this problem we want to go back to the roots of mother nature we always have transportation it started with our legs and then someone else's legs which is a horse and we want to bring it back horses are back in town horses are back, are the game right now and they're totally sustainable right because think about it the horse eats grass which gets grown from the ground it takes you from point a to point b it shits goes back into the ground the full cycle of sustainability right ruffle what do you think i think you are perfectly right jay and uh, this is what we call a uh, surf parking feature can can you see on the left uh, how this man has uh, his face really relieved out of this uh, stress uh, <laughs> of uh, not uh, needing uh, to find park parking place and uh, it's a natural self driving technology you can call your uh, a horse in which are free game uh, uh, you had a special shortcut for that and uh, obviously you uh, have this uh, in real life just whistle or call his name Yep, and next year they're going to have augmented reality where you can like fit your horse with headgear and you can whisper wherever you want. You be a real real life horse whisperer, and the horse comes right to you. And it has Google Maps for navigation. It's going to be awesome. Uh, and to discuss the so, business model. So it's going to be me and Kevin discussing the business model of uh, horses. So it's if you look at it, it's a two sided marketplace. and once that you have the riders they pay the horses via the credit card readers but the thing what we also want to tell you is as a horse owner you get to make good amount of money on the side as well but think about it you get to at the end of the day you get to own a cool horse and apart from that we have a credit card reader and and one other interesting business feature that we are bringing in which i don't think any other uh, lift or uber can compete with it is pay with hay you can go ahead get hey and you can just pay your horse and you can take it out to town so that's one innovative feature uh, kevin uh, what are your thoughts All right so the good thing about this is that you don't even have to like own the horse right you get to rent this horse 
And again, you can just pay as you use. This means this is going to be incredibly cheap depending on uh, a bunch of factors, maybe like your location, uh, the amount of horses around that particular area. So yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Yeah, and you know, as as uh, my colleague Kevin mentioned, there's really nobody else who focuses on horsepower and minimal fuel usage. You know, never mind the fact that there are more horses. You can build relationships with these horses. You can name them. They can't give you a bad rating. You know, there's just a whole bunch of upsides on that. On top of it, you just aren't going to get the kind of oomph. Um, sustainably and in, in, in a green sense as you are going to get with shadow facts. And that's it. Okay, so now this is the this is the, the real most important part here, right? I know you folks are a bunch of tech savvy folks who, who are probably aware of cryptocurrencies and maybe a bunch of you missed out on Bitcoin, missed out on Ethereum, missed out on Shiba, but man, I have a coin for you. This coin is neither harsh shit not a shit coin. It's horse coin, man. It's amazing. And you got to buy it because it's going to go to the moon. You know why? Because this coin is actually funding clean energy. Imagine Bitcoin. That's dirty, man. That's actually causing global warming. But horse coin is going to actually get us to sustainable transportation and giving you better companionship. And it's like the next wave of transportation. And this is what cryptocurrency is meant for. Oops. Well done, Madison. Amazing performance. I think that was just like the was best funny. thing ever. <laughs> you folks killed it. I loved like pay for hay and like the whole that was shit. Awesome. And all that. that was great. Oh. <laughs> and this was totally worth it. I, I'm glad yeah. we got that on recording. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Sweet. Yeah. So this is literally it. I typically I'm, I'm going to end the show with this and like, you know, just generally ask people to like, you know, like say what 